Afternoon. Um, you know, I've, I've been looking at this fucking halal certification, halal slaughter thing for, for a little while. And I've decided today, fuck it, let's make some phone calls and find out exactly what goes on. Um, and why, why it's on our shelves. Now, I'd just like to point out, first of all, um, it's not racist to talk about food, surely. Right? What we're looking at is less than a 2.5% of the population needing halal and kosher, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but it's on every shelf in every supermarket. Uh, the abattoirs that I'm looking into at the moment obviously have the monopoly. Um, and we've also got, a, a, what I understand, I suppose, is who is actually selling the animals or buying the animals to put them into these halal certified fucking slaughterhouses and abattoirs across our country. Um, only a quarter of the meat that we consume is actually imported into the country, uh, which is one thing again. Um, afternoon all. So we can only surmise, I suppose, that um, if only 2.5% of the people need that, then why can't they go and buy it from their own outlets? It's via stealth, people. Now, if you go to the supermarket and you're faced with two lots of meat, one is halal, the other is not halal. Um, unless you know what this entails and what halal is, then you don't have an informed choice. You have an informed choice because the information has been taken away from you. So. The general consensus is, uh, from a couple of firms that I talked to today, is that it's been blessed. No, that doesn't constitute halal. Um, so I've obviously talked to every supermarket in our country today. Uh, I've talked to Red Tractor, who will be sending me out, or did send me out an email that I've posted out. They need to clarify uh, that everything they do is, is pre-stunned. In which case, if the red tractor is trying to portray itself as something else, then it obviously isn't. Uh, I think what I'm more worried about, like I just said, is, is the, the disinformation and misinformation about certain products. And the fact, I suppose, that um, when we go into a mm -hmm. supermarket and there's halal meat there, if you don't know what it is and what it entails, and it literally entails the animal dying by the most gruesome fucking means method, that gruesome method that you could ever do to an animal it keeps freezing sorry people um but this is permissible apparently now on the government website it actually states under halal and kosher slaughter um, that every animal in this country must be stunned prior to the slaughter unless for kosher or halal slaughter I posted it earlier you must have read it um, so that means, obviously, that anyone selling that meat in this country, it's unstunned. Stands to reason. It's kosher. It's halal. Um, Marks and Spencer had a bit of a debate years ago with New Zealand lamb. Now, New, Le New Zealand lamb isn't actually halal. Uh, New Zealand lamb, believe it or not, uh, is stunned and then blessed. So that isn't even permissible uh, for these religious fucking fanatics to eat because it doesn't suit the halal issue um, which again is something that, that Marks and Spencer there's only there's only three at the moment that I can find and it's Marks and Spencer do not sell halal or kosher although there was some sort of mix up with this uh, New Zealand lamb um, Aldi's do not sell and will not sell and will not put their name to anything that's slaughtered that barbarically and Waitrose, everything apparently is stunned. Now, I can only go by what, I'm, or what I've seen and what I've heard today over what I'm telling you, all right? What I'm more worried about, more than anything, is that if people are supposed to have a choice, an informed decision over what they eat in this country of Christian values, pago Christian, delay Christian, fucking Christian, whatever comes on, this is uh, our, our land built on the Bible. We all know that. All right, every law, uh, law, not fucking acts and statutes, every law, uh, constitution and Magna Carta, everything came from the Bible. We are a Christian nation and it is forbidden in the Bible to eat anything sacrificed to an idol. That, my friends, is where it all falls down for me. Because if we had a choice, 
um, you know, you, you'll hear it on the phone calls tomorrow, exactly what I said to these people. If you're worried about what you're feeding your children, the news normally pops up and they say, right, um, could you send me that on a, on a message, please, Deb? Um, they will say, right, uh, sugar's bad, all the e-numbers are bad, this is bad, that's bad, everything's fucking bad. Cabbage cream heads give you salmonella, right? So the parent now has an informed choice as to what they feed their children. And they go out to the supermarket, they pick it up, they read the label and say, oh, too much sugar, fuck it, I'll get something else. Diet, aspartame, whatever goes on. Um, which is fair enough. Education is key. Do you see the same over kosher and halal? Of course you don't. You don't see any of that. So the people are going into a supermarket believing that it's just been fucking blessed and nothing more and go, well, there's no other chickens, I'll have to eat that. That's where it breaks down for me because there should be in that aisle a massive fucking sign telling you and showing you how that animal was slaughtered in accordance with their religious practices. That's what should happen. But it doesn't happen. It's not on the news. It's not in the newspapers. Only the people on social media know, really, and Muslims and Jewish people, what kosher slaughter and halal slaughter is and what it entails. And it entails um, an animal being hung up upside down, a chicken, goose, turkey, you know, whatever goes on, they slit its throat, it bleeds out. Um, a, a cow will be put mm -hmm. in this fucking very restrictive box, all right? It's all held everywhere. Its head's lifted. They get a big fuck off knife and slit its throat while it's awake. Where are the animal rights activists on this place? Where are they, spineless fuckers? They'll go to Dover and say, oh no, please don't export animals alive. It's absolutely terrible. What an absolutely fucking disgusting thing to do in 2017. Ah, animal rights, animal rights. And then you go, what about halal and kosher? Don't know what you're talking about. You're racist. Really? That's where we've come to in this country right now. So we should have a, a more informed choice. We should know exactly what we are buying and what it means if we buy it um now you're, you're gonna hear this tomorrow anyway i just had to put this out there for you i've rung fucking hell tesco's sainsbury's asda's lidl's uh fucking waitrose sainsbury's red tractor king's mill cadbury they've all been recorded i've recorded all of them um like I said, there's only two or three at the moment that don't actually sell any of these products whatsoever. They won't put their name to it because they know how fucking barbaric it is. But these other companies out there, Red Tractor apparently, um, I'm waiting for a, a, a little bit more of a back and forth from them. But what they're saying basically is, is everything is stunned. That's it. Now, whether or not they're trying to pass off halal meat through being blessed, which is now fucking over the other people that need that food very good if not and we're being duped into the point and the fact that it isn't halal but it is that's a major fucking serious problem and the fact i suppose where these guys have got the monopoly in our country over the abattoirs and the slaughterhouses and they're flooding our shelves with this food isn't it discriminatory and discriminatory to actually only employ muslims and jewish people in these slaughterhouses that must be discrimination surely because it's only those people that can actually carry out this ritualistic, barbaric fucking slaughter of an animal. Um, and also, <laughs> I'd like to say, um, that although... <sighs> Listen, our animal rights uh, laws aren't that fucking good as, as, uh, to begin with. On the website, it actually says, on the gov.uk website, look it up, uh, halal kosher, look it all up, I posted it all out earlier, it actually says, this meat must only be for the consumption of Jews and Muslims. Now, if they are less than 2.5% of this country, why is every shelf stacked full of this shit? Why? All right? It's forbidden for us to eat it in a Christian land, but still they keep punting it through. They keep punting it through. All right? King's Mill. King's Mill, the bread company. Um, we know where the, where the, where the certification goes. Um, some of it's halal certified and some people are just using logos all right mm -hmm. so if you go to buy a loaf of bread and you're a vegan or a vegetarian then it will state on that loaf of bread that you're a vegan or a vegetarian lovely um this is what king's mill are doing believe it or not there's no animal byproducts in a loaf of king's mill bread so it isn't halal it's halal certified all right. So they use a logo and I was told on the phone they have to give a donation to the HFA, 
the Halal Food Agency, HFS, Halal Food Standards, or whatever it is, they have to give a donation to. And actually got me to thinking, when I, when I spoke to Cadbury's, I actually said, well, shouldn't they be paying you to advertise that? Why are you paying them? If these people need to know, then these people should be paying you for putting it on your packaging for the advertising you're giving them. Why is it the other way round? Absolutely unbelievable. So, let's just, a few facts here, right? Uh, I've spent over fucking two and a half hours on the phone today to different companies, different supermarkets, getting the run around a little bit, as you do. I'm going to cut all that out and just put it together as, 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 as the recordings um, to try and ascertain as to whether it's actual halal or halal certified. Now, New Zealand lamb, apparently, uh, is oh, it's all, all halal. No, it isn't. Marks and Spencer went through a, a massive thing years ago um, and... New Zealand lamb, believe it or not, is stunned beforehand. That is the case. There's no getting away from that. They're stunned. But they still class it as halal because they blessed it. Right? Bullshit. It's not halal then. Alright? So anything that, that's stunned is not halal. Anything non-stunned is halal. In the eyes of these fucking lunatic people. So, Waitrose have, have categorically stated we will not put our name to anything that is stunned like that, and we use Red Tractor. So I called Red Tractor, I got an email from Red Tractor. Aldis do not sell, and will not sell, and put their name to, any kosher or halal sort of meat. Marks and Spencer won't put their name to any of that. They buy 99% of their meat in this country. All right, they don't import it, don't do this. So under UK legislation, um, we, we have to abide by our rules. Is it the same for when we import meat then? Who knows? The investigation will go further. Um, but like I say, you know, there, there's a lot of fucking, you know, look, I, I stopped buying King's Mill because I thought there might be something in that bread. You know, in Cadbury's products is gelatin. It's an animal byproduct. Uh, they're going to email me with the facts because I actually said to her, so if there's an animal byproduct in there, then surely if you're halal certifying or you're actually halal, then you have actually used a byproduct from an animal that was slaughtered inhumanely. And she went, well, I don't know. I'm going to have to email and we have to get the emails going. Right, OK. But there are lots and lots of products on the Cadbury's website uh, and they are halal certified. That can be the only reason why, because there's a byproduct of gelatin in that. Um, wouldn't it be funny if it was pigs? Oh, wouldn't it be funny if it was pork? <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm fucking. I've got my fingers crossed. Imagine that. And all, all, all these people have been eating Cadbury's. Oh. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Although, you know, lawsuits. And it's funny as well that, you know, in our schools, when I, when I was uh, um, arrested a little while ago over something, we all know the Quran video. Um, when I was arrested over that, I was put into a cell. They took all my equipment, put me in a cell. Uh, you hungry? I went, yeah, yeah, really hungry. Starving, in actual fact. Right, okay. Um, I said, what's on the menu? He went, there's cottage pie, there's curry, there's this. I went, right, okay, so the cottage pie. You can't go wrong with that, can you? Cottage pie. You can't go wrong with it. Um, anyway, he, he boiled it in, fucking steaming it out of the microwave, cup of tea. I put it on the side, wait for it to cool down. And when I pulled the cardboard shroud bit off of, of the, the middle of the packet and looked at it, I thought, I'm just going to have a, you've got nothing else to do. Fuck it, read the packet. Um, so I pulled it off and straight away, hello. So Serco, Geo Amy, G4S, all of these people that supply the prisons, um, if you think that, that halal is a small problem in our country, because it's in our supermarkets, think again. It's bigger than that. Much bigger than that. Our prisons, our police, our schools, our fucking hospitals are all using fucking halal. So how big is their business? And to certify that business, where is that money going? We know where it goes, but there's no proof of that. You know, I'd love to see in every supermarket I go in, and maybe we should do something about it, start a petition, I don't fucking know. Uh, where there's a big fucking bald on every halal section in every supermarket across this country. This is halal. They show them photographs of how that animal's killed. Give them the facts of how that animal died to end up on your plate. And I'll fucking guarantee you the halal bit will go right downhill. Because at the moment, the monopoly that they have is fucking extortioner. It's stupid. The amount of meat coming out of these abattoirs and end up on our shelves, less than 2.5% of the country, less than 2.5% of the country, these people that need this meat, and it's all ended up on our shelves for us to eat it. What the outcry we've seen 
Yes, I've just watched a Pat Condell video. He's, 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 he's in me noggin now. The outcry we've seen over people feeding people of a certain religious persuasion something that isn't halal. The newspapers go mad. The news goes mad. It all gets blown into all proportions. Social media goes mental. Um, what if we can say the same for us then? Yeah, I went into a cell and, and, and got a, a cottage pie and it was halal. <gasps> you fed me halal. Fuck me, I should be able to sub against it. But you can't. So this creeping shit is not creeping anymore. All right, it's not creeping. It's fucking here. And certainly over the products that are out there at the moment that are halal certified, mm -hmm. they are halal, they're not halal. I, I, I will get to some form of the bottom of it because I'm not happy with the fact that people are going to go in blind they haven't got an informed choice. They don't know what halal slaughter is, apart from what Tesco told them on a letter saying everything's stunned. It's just blessed. We said a prayer. Really? So the people keep going to Tesco. They don't check the labels. Who, who's actually got the app on their phone to find out where the meat come from? Who actually knows out there? This is all for you, for all you fucking lefties out there. And the people that are so fucking brain dead and sucked in by the big box in the corner of your front room. Do you know what halal is? Do you know what it entails? Do you know what happens to these animals to end up on a plate? Do you? Fucking unbelievable, it really is. And you know, Packendale said it right. I've only just watched it, I just shared it. Packendale said it right. I don't like buying halal, I won't buy halal. I won't fund wherever this fucking donation or certification money goes to. I won't fund it, I won't put into that. What I'm worried about is the fact that if you go to a supermarket and there's no normal meat left and you don't know the fucking difference and you keep buying halal, then oversupply and demand. Demand's high, supply gets higher. Before you know it, every shelf is full of fucking halal. Well, anyway, I've uh, got to sort these recordings out. Thank you very much. Uh, share it. Do what you got to do with it. Uh, I'm going to go through your comments in a minute and reply to a few probably. Um, but just be aware, people. Fucking hell, it's not hard. You know, listen, I've often said, take it away from the supermarkets uh, and actually go to your local butchers. All right, why, why should we be going to a fucking supermarket to buy it? What, because it's easier, really? Uh, there's little businesses out there that need to, need to survive. And if you're going to put into that, then you will know exactly where your meat comes from and it's not fucking halal. If you've got to go to a supermarket and start picking and choosing because the supermarkets won't tell you what's what and label it and go, this is halal and that's not. But well, what's halal then? Don't know. That's no fucking good. It's no good. All right, so I'm going to sign off. Uh, I might have a couple of beers tonight. I've been fucking completely sober um, since New Year's Eve. Apart from Friday, I had two Stellas and a couple of Scotches, but I've been completely sober and it's driving me fucking mental. So I'm going to have a couple of Scotches tonight. Um, but listen, any ideas you've got and who to contact, what we should be doing, we should all be writing letters to our fucking MPs, the companies involved, etc., etc. Maybe start a petition, make sure that this shit is labelled as such. And rather than just be labelled, this is fucking halal, what a tiny little thing. We should have big billboards in every supermarket, on every aisle where there's fucking halal shit. This is how the animal was killed. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. But there's your, there's your informed decision. Your informed fucking choice. Without the information, it's not informed anymore. It's a blind choice. It's not a choice, really. It's necessity. If there isn't one, I'll take that. Necessity. Anyway, listen... I'm going to sign off. Love you all. Uh, I've not done any videos for a while. My lips all been up in fucking cold sores and fucking look like a pus monkey's ass. but never mind. I will talk to you all later. Please share this. Get it out there. Um, and and let's, let's let people know what halal slaughter is. The most barbaric way anything, any living organism can be fucking, or any living animal, sorry, can be killed. The most disgusting fucking way that anybody can be killed. They slit throats. They chop people's heads off. It's the same for their animals. Eid. Look at Eid. Look, over, look across the Middle East, look at the photographs, go on YouTube, put in Eid, E-I-D, put it in there. They're slitting animals' throats left, right and centre. The fucking streets run with blood. Is that England in 2017 because it's permissible under UK legislation? No, I fucking think not. And